The state spends over two billion dollars a year on Medicaid. That's right, two billion with a B. 750,000 Connecticut residents are on some form of Medicaid. That's one out of every five Connecticut residents. And with a combination of state and federal funding cuts, the predictions are that those numbers could be reduced by thousands. Many Connecticut families are familiar with Medicaid because one or both of their elderly parents' monthly nursing home bills is paid for by the program. In some nursing homes, Medicaid clients make up 60 to even 70 percent of the patients and residents. Thousands more Connecticut residents are covered by Medicaid at community health clinics, including behavioral health providers and social workers, plus dental services, and the Medicaid Medicare savings cost sharing for low-income elderly and disabled residents. One estimate is that 50,000 or more Medicaid recipients will lose health coverage. There is no place left to cut. There is no waste. There is no fat anywhere in the community nonprofit system. The operators of these services said today that previous budget cuts have already put them teetering on the edge. Cutting Medicaid and Medicaid services uh, means agencies like mine will either have to get smaller or close. I estimate that 52 percent of our 44 preschool families would be affected by the cuts to Medicaid proposed in the state budget. One client recently told me that should this materialize, she sees herself as being homeless. They are suggesting expanding the state's sales tax to pet grooming, haircuts, legal fees, taxi rides, and other services, but reduce the sales tax rate. You could actually even lower the rate a half percentage point. So we were saying you could include services and lower the rate and still raise more than a billion dollars. But the governor's office notes that many of these exemptions have been suggested to be removed in the past and all have created a great deal of controversy. A spokesperson in his office saying these are all decisions we wish we didn't have to make. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.